Hey guys, it's Haley's in the room and I am back with another freaking video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I know you're going to like this video already. And if you're not new here and you've been on my channel for a while, hey girl, what's up? We back with another video and we got a reveal. So, your girl's starting her own press on nail business, okay? I kept this in the dark. Like, I didn't really tell y'all nothing. I didn't want to speak on it until everything came and was here. So, now y'all know the tea. Like, entrepreneur me is back on the scene. If you guys been subscribed to my channel for a while, my name on this channel used to be Hope Melanin. My actual first name is Hope. My middle name is Haley. So, that's why I changed the dynamic because I wasn't really posting business videos and why I was really... Just posting my personal life, spiritual videos, story times, and just me, 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 me. But now I just felt like it was good to like be an entrepreneur again. Like I feel like I missed it so much. And that doesn't mean that 444 Luxury Skin will never come back out. It is coming back out just in divine timing. But I just needed something for now to really be of service to others. I missed being an entrepreneur, but there has been obstacles in a way to where I couldn't work on 444 Luxury Skin. And 444 Luxury Skin is also not my first business. I also had Hope's Dollhouse, which was when I was selling lip gloss, lashes, which you guys been subscribed, so y'all seen that. So, this is my third business, my third business venture. So, I am so excited to embark on this journey, and I do plan on being consistent and really staying on top of my A-game with this. So, I am excited. So, today we're going to be unboxing everything that I got for my press on nail business. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I just want a trophy. Like, I uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God because, like, he gave me this vision. Like, I really was never thinking about selling nails or doing nails or any of that until one day. Like, the vision kept coming in my head, like, oh, D, oh, D, oh, D. Like, I kept on thinking about it. And I personally wear press on nails because I don't like paying, like, hundreds and 80 some dollars at the nail salon. It just got too expensive for me, and it's not in my budget. So your girl be going to the beauty supply store and getting press on nails. But then one day I was just like, oh, what if I just sell my own press on nails or whatever. So just because I had the vision alone, I ordered from a vendor press on nails. But then last night, all right, you know what? I'm going to actually go tell all of that in the ending because I don't want to do too much talking before I unbox. But just know, like, this was my first virtual, like... I am not no longer going to be ordering press on nails from a vendor. I am going to be making my own, going to be learning, practicing and everything. But just because I had the vision and God gave me the vision, I didn't, it didn't come up with me. Like I just did as God told me to do and it came. So I started off with that and then, you know, he put the vision in my head that I also can make my own press on nails. Like I was scared at first because I'm like, I don't know if I'm like going to be good at that, but I'm no longer scared and he gave me a vision and I know what to do. So, I've been watching a lot of videos, so I do want to actually start making my own, but for now, this is from a vendor that I'm going to be reselling. This is just for now, and by my next restock, I am definitely going to be selling my own press on nails with dedication, determination, and all that, all that, all that. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. So, I don't know what I should open first, but I feel like I should show you guys the nails first, because that's going to take a little while. So, I got my box cutter here. And we're gonna, ooh, chat. I don't even know where to start opening this box at because it's like, they done top, they done freaking tape this box up to the T to the point where it's like, where do I even start opening this box? But we're gonna just, Thank God for this box cutter, because had I not have a box cutter right now, it would have been real bad. Ah! Damn. Y'all know, these vendors, they just be packaging this shit like they don't want nobody to touch your shit. But I love that for them, but sometimes it just be OD. Like, ah! Y'all. Opening this box alone is a virtual shit. All right. Woo! So we getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. 
All right. Oh God. Like, let me just see the nails already. But I also thought about selling my own nails because like the quality of these nails are really good, but they're really actually expensive to get it from a vendor rather than making it yourself. So I was just like, girl, just make it yourself instead of paying like OD for somebody else to make it. Ooh! y'all but these are my packaging boxes oh chow oh, oh i'm excited but let me open it open my um packaging box i got this little storage box thingy from i think dollar tree so i'm gonna open that so that once i take these out the box and i show you guys i could just throw them in and call it a day but let me be careful with this box cutter because my clumsy ass the type to them leave the shit open and cut myself and we don't need that we need we need a good day we need a good look open oh okay <laughs> i'm excited y'all like i actually ordered these personal nails like a month or two ago but something was happening in china so it took longer than expected so they're finally here and this is how big the box is i don't know if all of them is gonna fit here but we're gonna we're gonna hope and pray we're gonna hope and pray so now let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it i have a lot to do like i have a lot of product pictures to take with these nails but let's see the first one this is the packaging box it's in this nice you know tiffany and co blue it's like a little shopping bag so yeah take your personal nails on a go <laughs> ah! oh all right this is the first one oh they actually they actually feel really really good this is one of the sets Oh, I love this set. It's so nice and long. And they come with 24 sets, so you don't really have to worry about the sizing for these ones. But um, the thing that I ordered to make my own press on nails, um, I'm going to actually adjust them to the specific sizing and stuff like that to my clients, well, my customers and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's one. <laughs> I, I, I really want to cry, but like, I can't cry on camera. That's a little weird. I don't think I have it in me. So, I just know I'm very excited. Ooh, the girlies is gonna love these. We also have this one. Ooh, yes. Uh, really does give. And then we have, ooh, I just don't want them to drop out the nails that's under it. We also have these. It gives very nice hearts. And they're lengthy. I love these. Ooh. The girlies is going to love these. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm excited. I love this for me. Like, I love being of, ser of service to others. I feel like I don't do enough on my daily basis. And I just want to... The entrepreneur is in me, not something that I vision for myself. Like, I was born with this. Like, this is something that I cannot escape. God just gave me the power and gave, gave it to me. Like, he just did the whole thing for me. So, you know. And then we also have these ones. Yes, they gave, I love this set, because like the snake um, nails are trending OD right now, so I really do love that set. I have a lot to go through on this, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but if you stay till the end, I love you, <laughs> like I do. Ooh, and these are the, the cookie set. 
these are what they look like i love this set too it's a nice blue and it looks really good okay my vendor did that she did that but i'm sorry i'm not gonna be using her no more but i'll probably still order the packaging boxes from her but when i make my own nails it's gonna give for the girls too so and then we also have this set it's like blue waves love this one oh i just love the blues like and this is my first time making my brand not pink because <laughs> most of my brands is like pink girly but this is still girly because i love me a tiffany and co like please but i'm loving these sets so far guys like they give like i really do love them and the packaging boxes is nice. Like, it's the blue that I expected. This is the Pretty in Pink set. Well, I'm just calling it Pretty in Pink because it just gives, like, Pretty in Pink. But I love this set as well. Ciao! I love this. I love these. Okay. Okay, okay. And I really commend myself this time around for, like, really keeping my mouth shut. Like, knowing how to shut the fuck up. Like, really. Because I didn't tell nobody about this business venture. Only my cousin knew. And that's because we are both going to be taking product pictures with the nails on. But I didn't tell anybody else about it. Because I just figured that, like, keeping your mouth shut until everything is together is better. Because, like, people will wish on your downfall before you even get to freaking open the damn box like or even start so i am very proud of myself because usually i'm very talkative like when i'm excited and about something i'll be like yo da -da -da, this is this and i usually always do that and it never really works out for me so i'm glad this time i kept my mouth shut and this is another pink set i cannot wait to sell these i just wish they were a bit longer because in the pictures they seemed longer than what they actually are but i guess that's fine because when i make my own nails they're gonna actually be the length of you know what they're supposed to be but these are just for a starter you know this is just the start of something very new and something that can take me places um so that's fine. Because I thought they was going to be like extra, extra long. Because like some, some of the girlies like the long, long, longs. I'm not seeing that. Can't wait to start taking product pictures with them. I don't know if I want to take the pictures in a box or actually have pictures of them like on hand, on hand. Not sure yet. Um, This is the purple set. This is this set. I like this purple. It's giving like a lavender type of vibe. I don't know if I want to launch when I actually start making my own. Or just get these out and get these launched. And then like use that time as practicing time while I'm selling these. I'm not too sure yet. But I think I might do that. And then we have this set. It's pink and gold. I got a lot of pink sets because... A lot of people love the pink. This one is looking. I love it. Oof, I need some more space. Baby. This is the same set as that one. This is the same set as, I think, this one. I want to make sure that I'm organizing them real good. But I think that I ordered three sets of these. So I could just drop these in here like this. The ones that already got three sets. I'm going to put them in a box. Because I only ordered like three sets of each. So far. Like that's the max. But that box that I got right now. Is probably not even gonna fit all of these like, like I thought they were but 
you know, some could go in there. Um, oh, these are the blue wave ones again. Yeah, this this set. Um, this set again. So this could go in. I'm gonna probably need to get another one of those boxes or something. This is another set of. Um, I'm about to see. No, not this one. Not this one. Not this one. This one. So. That's that. This is another one of the cookies. Oh, I think I put the cookies away. Yeah, it's it. So, I'm gonna have that to the side. So I ordered four of the cookies. Oh, this set is my favorite set. This set is like trippy for my girls. Like, I don't know. It just gives. Like, I love it. This set is the bomb.com. Like, oh, child. I love that set. I was waiting for that set. I actually really like that set. I really love that set. I was waiting for that one to come. Comment down in the comment section below, like, which ones would you purchase? Like, which ones was your fave? Which ones did you like from this one? You know, I'm giving you guys a whole haul, like, on everything before they even launch to the site. Like, before I even... I'm giving y'all all, all the deets like that. Not everybody gonna see. So, YouTube heard it first. And then we also have this one. It looks so good. I like this. This is my like four faves i have like four faves here so this is one of them i don't know i like trippy designs like and that's why I, when i start mine i want to have like the charms on them and different type of stuff like this is really just a start for me and for a while i thought that i was just gonna keep on ordering from this vendor until last night yo god really kept me up like he was like yo like, he, he ain't say yo, of course, but, like, he was just basically, like, let me put some knowledge on you. And then I was just doing research, and I was watching, like, a bunch of nail videos. First, I was watching, like, acrylic nail videos, and then I found these press-on nail videos on how to make press-on nails and stuff. And this girl, like, she's really artistic, and she really explained in depth on how to get it done and stuff. So I was like, oh, I could do it. I could do that. So I ordered the things that I need well I'm planning on ordering the things that I need this Friday for that and then I'm gonna start practicing but I feel like it should it's not gonna be that hard for me for some reason like usually when I start a business I'm scared I'm like yo what if what if it'd be a bunch of what ifs but with this I don't feel no fear no fear I'm probably not gonna show you guys all of the sets only for the sake of the length of this video this is probably the last set i'm gonna show you guys which is this dark blue this one so guys i'm not gonna show you guys all if you guys do want to see all of them and the rest of them make sure you go and follow my business tiktok account top notch claws and you guys can see all of the sets on hand in person you know up close and personal on there but for the sake of this video and i got a whole bunch of more i'm just gonna cut this short and show you guys the next part of things that i ordered so i'm gonna be back now we're getting to the marketing and um you know my flyers and my stickers for my boxes so i'm gonna open my stickers first because i haven't seen them i haven't opened them in person but I got them from Sticker Mule, so if you do want stickers um, for your business, 
to use as your packaging because you don't always have to do the branding that comes with your vendor you can literally buy stickers and put them on top of your boxes and it's gonna give for the girls same way um and that's also how you save money i'm always on a budget i'm always affordable so y'all know me i'm always find a way to save my money save my coin okay so moment of truth this is my mock-up of my stickers so they're holographic i'm gonna show you guys on the box i'm gonna put one actually on top of one of the boxes to show y'all i only ordered a little bit of stickers because i just wanted to see how everything was gonna sell and stuff like that so the stickers and they're holographic and they say top notch claws i made my logo myself and everything so I'm going to show you guys on the box how it's going to look. This is how it looks on the box. But top notch claws. It's probably not straight across the box, but that was my first try. <laughs> I love those, but I did open my business cards and my thank you cards. They've been here for like over a month because the first things I ordered was my marketing. Because usually when I start a business, I ordered these last and then they not here in time and stuff. So I just wanted to make sure they was going to be here in time. So... I am going to show you guys my thank you cards. I made them myself on Canva. I'm my own entrepreneur, really, because, like, I really do everything in my business. I don't pay nobody for nothing except for, like, the product, which I'm not doing that anymore. So, like, this business is really about to be self-made. Like, I make the nails myself and all of that. But I ordered my thank you cards and from Vista Print, and it just says, thank you for your purchase. It's the same blue as my boxes and then on this side you know how do you like it and then go on the website so these are my business cards i love them they're simple and straight to the point but that's because usually i would put like an iphone template in the back and then put the instagram and all of that but because i don't have any pictures up and stuff that wasn't really achievable so that's that and then we have my business cards they're kind of simple and straight to the point too it says top notch claws just like that given for the girls and then on the back it says my tiktok my gmail and the website name and the instagram name because i'm like where is the instagram name so yeah but this was just a start to you know everything so of course further along the way my marketing is going to be better but i still feel like it's calm right now like because not everybody goes for a full out business card and a full out thank you cards because nine out of ten if i'm being realistic people throw away business cards like they get their order they love the item the product that they got but nine times out of ten the business card goes in the garbage unless they are really appalled and they're like yo i gotta keep this around which i hope and pray that will happen but nine out of ten business cards get thrown away so it's like you could put them as much effort as you want but me personally i was just like i don't need to do all of that because me personally sometimes i even throw away business cards not intentionally but it just be still in the bubble mailer and I take out my, my what I ordered and it just goes in the garbage. So, I didn't really care to put too much effort. But the main general things that need to be on it was on it. So, that's really all that mattered to me. But I have my stickers. I have my nails. I have my business cards. I have my thank you cards. I just need to get bubble mailers. Um, and I have to order inventory for me to make my own press on nails. So I'm still debating when I do want to launch this because I don't want to rush perfection. You know, I, I'm a Leo and I'm really a perfectionist. If I don't feel like it's good enough to the world, like it's going to be fire enough to the outside world and the outside viewings, I will not launch it yet until I have everything together. So this was the start and I did basically, I have everything I need to launch, but it's just me. I need extra time to get everything together because i really want 2023 like top-notch quality nails and the nails that i got is like 
they're fire but i feel like as for jumping on trends because when you're a business owner you do want to have your own touch but you also want to think about what's trending and like charms is trending you know the designer the cows on the nails is trending and there's so many things that's trending so it's like you want to also yeah you want to also be mindful of that as well when launching a business is like you have to think about what's trending because when you have trending things like people gravitate to it more like now that's in is the big long claws like the grabbers the i'm outside where you at like the long long longs and that's what i wear myself so the fact that the length didn't add up to what the picture was showing is kind of not rubbing me the right way because like i feel like they're gonna be real short on the nails i didn't try them on as yet but you guys are still gonna see my journey because it's not gonna be my last episode of me speaking on my business on my youtube channel but it's a journey everything is a journey you got to start somewhere i did start somewhere i just had the vision and i took it and ran with it but god along the way when he first gives you a vision he he's not going to tell you this is how you how to do it this is what you're going to do you have to figure that out but along the way he's also going to guide you and help you so i felt like last night it was so weird too because these nails were supposed to come my order for the nails because that was the last thing to come because my business cards and my thank you cards was already here my stickers was already here a long time um but my nails were supposed to come on tuesday which is tomorrow today is monday january 16th and it was supposed to come tomorrow and out of nowhere it came earlier than expected today on monday and i was just like what and then last night usually i would be knocked out yesterday i had a long day um i forgot what i did yesterday i'm not even gonna hold you but i know i did a lot of stuff because i've been wanting to sleep since the day like started but i had a very long day i was about to go to sleep and then i was on i don't know what gravitated me towards you know watching acrylic videos i think it was probably the pricing of actually paying for these nails in bulk and the fact that it's not from me and if you guys know me as a business owner i'm not really the type the only thing that i've probably brought from a vendor that i didn't make myself was lashes for hope's dollhouse but that's because you know lashes is something like if you want to make them you can but like it was like you didn't really have to but that's probably the only thing that i've brought from a vendor that i haven't made on my own and just the fact that i'm very self-made and i like to have my own touch to things it was just kind of irritating me that i was allowing my fear to get in my way and allowing somebody else to craft something somebody else did and took their time with to be something that i sold it just wasn't sitting right with me so and the pricing these were very very expensive like very expensive like i'm not even gonna drop the price because like that's not me i don't do shit like that but they were very expensive and i was just like mm -mm. and then there's always that hope in the beginning of starting a business of i hope these sell and i if these don't sell as much as i want them to which i'm not manifesting that at all i i'm manifesting like they do sell but if worst case scenario or the money that I spent, I'm not making it back. So I'd rather just put myself to the test and really learn and really venture and not allow fear to hold me down this year. This is a whole new year. Fear has been holding me down for too fucking long for me to allow fear to hold me down and be like, oh, I probably can't do nails. They're press on nails. And for press on nails, you don't have to do acrylic. It's optional. But I feel like acrylic will be better because they're more sturdier. They'll stay on your nails longer. They won't come off as quick as they do with press on nails and yeah but i just want to have a journey and and trust the process i don't want to order for vendor i don't want to do that no more i want to make my own and be self-made like i always am so god allowed me to see that watch different videos find out on tiktok what products i need and everything and i've already added them to the cart manifesting it and i'm gonna order it this weekend this friday and really start my journey on making my own that's why i'm like i don't know when i want to start i don't know if i want to have my extra extra long long claws the top not i want i want to give you a top notch quality if the name of the of my brand is top notch claws i want to give you a top notch quality still kind of if you on when i want to launch all right y'all like i just don't know but i know that god gave me the vision i did what i needed to do but now he gave me more insight on what i need to do to really have this prosper and work for me so yeah 
I just went on a rant, but I hope you guys really did enjoy this video and enjoyed the words that I spoke at the end and even in the beginning. Um, I hope this doesn't inspire anybody who wants to start their own nail, press on nail business. It's easy. I can also insert the links in the description below if you guys would like. Make sure you comment that, like insert the thing in the description. And I will insert the links on videos that can help you start your own press on nail business. I don't gatekeep. I am one black female entrepreneur that loves to help everybody. Like, I will give you guys all the tea and everything. Like, I don't gatekeep. So, whatever questions that you have and what you want to know, definitely ask in the comments. And I will definitely tell you. So, with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this video even more and more, more which I hope you did. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you drop something in the comments below and interact with your girl Haley so we can have a conversation and this could be a safe space. This is a community where we could talk, flourish, prosper, and receive our abundance together. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!